Hello YouTube, uh, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ben and I'm here with another uh, Alipata uh, reaction. And this one is uh, something that I actually covered uh, with my piano uh, on my channel. It's a, an Ita Purnamasari song. Um, I think it's uh, from the 90s. Uh, I'm not sure. So um, I love this song. Um, I haven't heard it in years until I played it uh, a few weeks ago. So without further ado, let's see uh, what we got here. Yeah, now I remember. Um, yeah, I played this a uh, couple of months ago, I think, uh, yeah, on my piano, and I haven't heard this song since uh, the 90s uh, until uh, a month ago. Yep, good song. See, uh, this is interesting. He's actually doing two voices, um, the melody and there's a secondary uh, melody. Uh, if you pay attention, yeah, that's amazing. That's not, not easy at all. He made some changes there uh, to the melody. Um, uh, he uh, like uh, changed uh, the song a little bit, and uh, it's still the same chord and the same movement. It's just that uh, he made uh, some tweak and make it his own. Oh, yeah, he also changed the chord a little bit right there. Um, uh, for those of you uh, who are familiar with this song and uh, knows about a uh, chord, uh, maybe you play another instrument. Uh, that chord right there is different uh, from the original. He make uh, some tweak there. So uh, let's pay uh, attention. Nice. Oh, so he jumped from uh, one octave to a, another uh, uh, one octave higher, um, but still maintain the same melody. Cool. Oh, I love it when he does that uh, with his uh, index finger. Yeah, and it's. In and he made it so effortless, so effortless. One minute, I just noticed uh, the <laughs> there's a cigarette there at the end of his guitar. I didn't see it until now. Oh, it's so funny. Uh, right there, see? Yeah, he he made some changes there and uh, he added some chord. I haven't figured it out yet. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's uh, very creative. Very creative of him to do that. Oh. Oh. Um, I need to replay this. Uh, uh, right there. Right there, yeah. Different chord. Mm. So, uh, on top of the melody and the bass, 
he added uh, an insert there uh, with the uh, melody that uh, is, makes it more interesting. Uh, so yeah, and he made it so effortless. Very nice. Wow. Oh, that is so good yeah that uh that trick right there uh that's uh yeah, that's so good uh, again there was a chord right there that i wasn't sure what that was uh I don't think that's uh, the original chord, um, but what he did there uh, made made the song uh, even more interesting. I think, yeah, he has this secret chord that he has um, under his sleeves. Oh, right there. Um, yeah, he did that uh, quick move. Uh, that's so good. Uh, that move right there. Um, before he jumped to a different uh, octave, he did some uh, trick right there, which he did before uh, in the previous uh, part of the song. But uh, uh, I just noticed it. Uh, so if he makes the song um, so easy to play, but uh, it's not easy at all. Uh, it's not easy at all. It's difficult. Yeah, he um, again. He has two melodies running at the same time, so it's not just one melody and the bass, but he has a secondary melody. So, um, like uh, if there's there's a choir, there is a um, like a soprano, and then there's an alto with a different uh, melody. That's what that's what he's doing here, and that is not easy. Thank you, Mr. Ali. Um, yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, that's another great uh, performance cover by uh, Ali. Uh, Ita Purnamasari Cintaku Padamu. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.